Hello you guys and welcome back to another video on my channel Sumir Panther and as you can see we are back in breaking point for today's video and today I will be telling you guys how to be good in breaking point and yeah just a few tips and tricks that maybe you didn't know or maybe you already knew but it will help me out if you watch till the end so let's get into it. The last two videos you guys have been showing a lot of support and we literally just hit 1000 subscribers yesterday I did a live stream I did a live stream on it and it went awesome so thank you guys again for the support uh so yeah make sure to subscribe like and comment and go join the hashtag Panther squad if you haven't already the link will be in the description so let's get into it first tip is you guys always want to play in either duos or duck duck stab or kill road these three are the two uh, these three are the three main uh, game modes in Breaking Point, which are the most fast moving, they give you the most credits, the most XP, and they get you the most wins as quick as possible. Second tip is you guys always want to stay some type of uh, camouflaged with the background or with the theme of Breaking Point, which is literally dark. There is this is a huge room and in the middle is the table well it is usually just dark so i would recommend some type of white or black uh f theme on your avatar that will allow you to not stand out so you are less uh, easily visible to the opponent you are versing that will give you a higher chance of winning and obviously more credits at the at the end next tip is when you guys are playing in knife rounds you always want to aim for headshots when you are killing people you always want to aim for headshots because in the end that gets you the most credits the most xp because headshots are the skilled shots maybe something you didn't know is if you go on to your profile there's a section called clan and you guys can actually join a clan and the way to do that is actually very simple so for example, I am in the CAQE clan, as you can see here, and all I had to do to get into the CAQE clan is go to CAQE's profile and look at her primary group. Her primary group was the CAQE clan, and I would join it, make it my primary, and that would allow it to set me the group as my clan. Now you can do this with any type of breaking point uh, group. And that goes for my group as well. So if you want me, the hashtag Panther Squad, if you want my group as the clan of your, your of your profile, so make sure to go join it, make it your primary, and that will, and that will allow it to be your clan. Next tip is you guys don't want to buy anything from the shop. Even if you are starting off new, you don't want to buy anything at all from the shop. Uh, you want to save up for seasonal crates, which come uh, which come up in Halloween, Valentine's, Christmas, and I think there's one or two more. Or if you guys are always tempted, make sure to save up for the legendary cases. There are six thousand in the shop in knives because those will help you the most in the long run, and you can trade up for the rest of the stuff like guns, chairs, animations, accessories, alpha, and so on. If you want to stay well camouflaged, if you go into shop and scroll all the way down to other, you can change your uh, light color, the torso light color, to dark blue or dark red. Those are the two colors that are the darkest in the torso light color range. Next tip is you guys always want to play this game because uh, it, it gives you a try every, every so often and you can win 100 credits while giving in 10 credits so let's try it here you hit the red button and you have to try to make it all the way to the top and if you get it all the way to the top click it in time you can win the 100 credits obviously i missed there but if you keep going and you will win 100 credits okay what if you actually want to get guns but you don't want to spend any money well the thing is if you already have some commons or uncommons or rares like stacked up what you can do is if you go into trade and trade in you can give in your equally ranked guns and for example i have four common guns so if i give them in for the trade in i can unbox an uncommon crate now if i have four uncommon guns i can open a rare gun case and look i just got a legendary from a common from four comments that was easy as that next tip is there are a lot of toxic players while you are playing uh breaking point obviously there is going to be loads of people who are going to be rude or who get salty because you won or maybe you killed them or maybe they killed you you have to not get mad you have to control your anger and that will allow you to be more skilled in the game 
Okay, next tip is when you guys are playing in round, you always want to play in third person instead of first person because it gives you a wider range of movement and uh, direction and aim and everything. Because you can see people from behind and in front of you and everything. Next, aim, uh, next tip is that you guys don't want to just keep spam jumping because people just tend to hold down the space bar and they keep jumping and that actually gives you a disadvantage rather than an advantage because you are probably jumping into the way of the knife. And you want to keep constantly moving, there should be no phase where you just stand still and do nothing because that will actually give you off to the person who you are versing. Now, there it is, we just got a kill there just oh wow and yeah you get the point we died but ignore that and one final tip you guys actually two final tips you want to have optimize on so if you go into settings you can get optimize and you just turn it on and that will actually help your gameplay release lag and then what you want to do the final tip is go into settings scroll all the way down other and turn on the show round stats this will let you know how many people you killed how many headshots you got your accuracy and who you killed this will allow you to improve generally and that is it for today's video hopefully you guys enjoyed make sure to subscribe like and comment and i'll see you guys in the next one goodbye